So we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to do my face and my eyebrows off camera because I feel like it's kind of just a glam look and everyone does the things that they like to do for their face and like the face products that they use it but we're going to do the eyes and the lips together so let's just jump into that. I'm going to look very crazy when we're back. Hello. So I'm going to be using the Girl Scout palette, the green and blue one that I have. If you don't have this palette, you need it. If you don't have any green eyeshadows, you can still do a pop of green on the lid and just do kind of like a black smoky eye. And I'm going to use the Soft and Sultry palette from Milani. Some of these darker colors on the bottom because I want to smoke this look out and basically have a, you know, a black smoky eye with a hint of green. But all the dark colors in that Girl Scout palette are very blue based and I wanted it to be more neutral than that so I'm using the more neutral gray and black tones from the soft and sultry palette. So I'm starting with a mixture of the shades Mary Jane and Weed. It's just the two matte greens in the palette and I just mixed them both together and started getting a really colorful lid going and then I'm going in with the Soft and Sultry palette and with a mixture of After Hours and Untamed from the Soft and Sultry palette to deepen up the crease and get kind of that black smokiness going. Then I'm taking that same mixture after hours and untamed onto the lower lash line and just smoking that right out. You don't have to take it as far down as I do, but I like it to be very, very smoky. And then I'm going to just use my finger and put that matte color from the Girl Scout palette called Weed all over my lid. I'm kind of just doing this as a color base so if there's any gaps between the glitter it's not just my skin you're seeing you're actually seeing green still and then I'm taking a little bit of the NYX glitter glue and packing pothead that super shimmery glitter from the Girl Scout palette it's beautiful you can see I'm like just getting so excited as I'm putting it on because it's so beautiful Then I'm taking that brush from before when I was using the black shades and trying to blend that out and then I take a little bit of the shade Stoner which is kind of a blue color from the palette. It's just a shimmer not a glitter but I just use a very very small amount to try to make that blend a little bit easier into the black. It's kind of a harsh thing to try to blend when you're blending a bright green into black eyeshadow so just to help that transition a little bit but I didn't use enough to make it actually look blue so it's fine and then I'm going to use that other really light glitter called sticky icky to highlight my inner corner you can just use a normal highlight shade for this but I figured it's Halloween you might as well just use glitter to highlight your inner corner as well and then I'm putting on some mascara I wanted to show you how it looked without lashes in the end I do put on lashes of course but I wanted to show you how it looked without first in case you're not comfortable putting on lashes and I caught up the other eye and now we're on to lips so I don't have a red lip liner because I basically never do red lips so I'm just using 09 Spice from Milani to align my lips then I'm going in with the shade Goth Topic from Wet n Wild the Megalass Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks and I'm just doing this on the outer corners of the lip. I kind of wanted to do one of those ombre lips. I like to do that with red lips 
in general just to give it a little bit more dimension and depth but you obviously don't have to do that if you don't want to and then I went in with the Revlon Ultra HD matte lip color in the shade romance I know that this isn't cruelty free but I very rarely rare wear red lips this is the only red lipstick I have so it's kind of just what I had to use I haven't gotten rid of it because I wear red lips like once a year then I just go in with that kind of on the center of the lip and then blend everything out as best I can So this is the makeup done. Again, I don't have lashes on yet, so you can see how it looks. It looks fine without lashes. In the end, I do put some on just to really amp it up. And now I'm slicking down my hair. I don't have a lot of hair products, so I'm just doing my best with what I can. I kind of just slick it down with water, and I'm using actually one of Nathan's beard brushes to like slick down all the flyaways. I know that's not the right type of brush, but it's all I got. Then I'm just putting it into a little very simple bun and I have these scrunchies. I got these a while ago from Walmart. It's not totally necessary but they're animal print and I have one that's kind of green-ish and then a black and white one. So I just put the black and white one around the bun that's already there just for funsies, you know, just in case you turn around and you want it to match your outfit. It's totally not necessary but... I had it so I used that and then I'm going in with water-based paint obviously I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water into it mix it with the brush and then start painting my hair I really like to use water-based paint for stuff like this because it is the easiest thing to get out you literally just hop in the shower and the water activates it again and it just rinses right out I know that this doesn't look totally perfect if you want it to be amazing you can get a wig or something but I thought you know this is a three dollar paint I can just slick my hair down and paint it and it'll look really cool really simple and I anybody can do that so here's me talking the audio was kind of messed up so I'm just going to keep doing the voiceover but I just popped on this black and white dress that I got from Old Navy and I already had this red jacket I did buy these earrings for about nine dollars from Target from the sugar fix line and yeah everything else I had so I didn't have to go like balls to the wall with this like buying stuff again if you want to buy a wig and a whole costume that's totally up to you but if you're doing Halloween at home this is totally going to be like fine everybody will get it I don't really think you need to wear animal print that's just me if you're wearing black and white with a splash of red I think everyone will understand who you are especially after you paint your hair half white and you could also get water-based paint in black, but when my hair is wet, it looked dark enough, so I just left it how it was. And right here I have lashes on, so they didn't make a huge, huge difference. I just put on some little wispy lashes from Kiss. So yeah, you can totally get away without wearing those at all so so that is the final look my instagram and everything i use on or off camera will be listed in the description bar below thank you so much for watching i'm going to put all of my halloween looks into one playlist if you want to see all of them in one place and i think that's all i have to say so wherever you are whatever you're doing just have a good one bye